Okay, in this video, I want to go over my AC wiring output on my grow watt inverter. So first off, if I was hooking this up to my house panel, I would leave the neutral ground bonding at the house panel. This is going to be completely 100% off grid. So I'm going to do my bonding inside my panel here temporarily, just while I'm in the shop here. I have a plug where the only prong that has anything connected is the grounding prong. I'm just going to plug this into my house circuit so that I will be using the grounding electrode from my house just while I'm doing this demonstration. When I get out in the field, I will be running my own grounding plate and I'm going to have six gauge copper wire coming from here out to my grounding plate. So this is 100% off grid. So just to explain how I have my panel, I have my AC output coming out of the grow watt. I have my ground, my black, which is my line wire, and then my white, which is my neutral wire. That runs through this flexible conduit, which then runs into my panel. I have the white comes in and terminates on the neutral bar, which is then bonded with this copper bare wire that runs over to my grounding bar. So there is a screw that typically comes with the panels. I believe it's this screw on the end here. Uh, I do not have it. This panel was given to me for free. A friend of mine was throwing it out. It was for a jacuzzi tub, but I can reuse it for this purpose. And then my black wire comes in and it comes up and it goes into, comes in, runs up and connects into this lug here. And then I have a jumper wire that runs it into the second lug over here. This is normally a 240 volt panel, but this grow watt's only producing 120 volts. So I'm just livening both sides of the panel. So then I can have four breakers instead of just two and having two empty slots. So already I've gone ahead and done some wiring. So I have a plug down here with a switch on it. You can see here, this is gonna run an AC unit. And then this switch here, I'm gonna wire it separately to run a light somewhere or something. I haven't quite decided what I wanna do with that, but this is gonna run a air conditioner inside my trailer. So the wiring I've already done for the plug down here, uh, that is this wire here, it just comes in and it goes to its own 15 amp breaker. So now what I wanna run is I'm gonna run this wiring for the light bar that's over here. It just comes out of the bar, comes across the bottom here, runs into the box, and these are the ends here. Now if we strip these wires, now you can see on these wires, the, this is a stranded wire. So if you were to screw that into your breaker or into one of these bars, the screw would just twist open the wire and you might get maybe this much contacting, which is not enough, it's gonna create heat. So what you're gonna to wanna to use in that case, actually, let's hook up my uh, grounding electrode first. Okay, now, like I was saying with the grounding electrode, it is also just a stranded wire. So we are gonna to wanna to use a ferro. So now what the ferro does is when you go and you put the screw terminal on, as you can see here, what happens is it squishes in and it holds all the wires together. And that way you get a good connection inside your panel. Okay, so now I'm grounded out to my house through this wire here. Now this is severely under gauged, but this is just temporary while I hook it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect my ground wire first. Now my neutral wire. Now for my hot wire, this is only a 14 gauge wire. Uh, this is only rated for 15 amps. I'm gonna use a 15 amp breaker on it. Okay, there we go. Now this bar is wired up. Next, I want to wire my outdoor plug. So this is gonna be my outdoor plug. This is a 12 gauge extension cord. I was gonna buy this by the foot but it was cheaper on sale to buy the extension cord and cut it to length. And then I can just add a new head to it and use it for something else. And this is gonna be connected to a GFCI. 
This is gonna be mounted on the outside of my trailer. I'm gonna be able to hook up miter saws, table saws, compressors, whatever I want, and it's gonna be GFCI protected. So on the other end of that, again, I have stranded wire. So I'm gonna to have to use ferrules on the end of this. Now, some people don't like to crimp it. Uh, this is a soft enough metal that the screw, when I put it inside the panel, is going to crush this anyways, so don't leave me any nasty comments. And now because I'm using 12 gauge wire, I can use a 20 amp breaker for this one. Okay, now I just have this extra 20 amp breaker. I'm just gonna put it in here as a spare. It's not gonna hurt anything there. Uh, so now, uh, just talk quickly. So I've run eight gauge wire to here. There is a 40 amp breaker that's in the grow watt externally here. This 40 watt breaker is gonna protect the eight gauge wire until it hits this panel. 15 amp breakers are gonna protect the 14 gauge wire and the 20 amp breakers are gonna protect the 12 gauge wire. It's very important that you size your wire appropriately. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plug my batteries in, fire up the grow watt, and we'll see if I can run a load. Charging up the capacitor, turning on the unit, and the flux capacitor works. So right now this is a live panel. I don't want to be sticking my fingers in there. I, I do have the cover plate, so I'll put this on after. Let's turn on the power bar. Oh, there we go. So this works. Let's plug something in. Okay, this is the light from my uh, test video. Ooh, there we go. Let's get the grow watt humming. Okay, so that outlet works. You can see the lights on on the GFCI. So that's working. Perfect. Okay, so there you have it. That's uh, just a quick overview of my AC wiring. Now I'm gonna do AC input for my generator, which the AC power input for my generator is gonna be through this big guy here. This is 10 gauge wire. I'm gonna have a 30 amp DIN rail breaker for this coming in. And all this is is a three prong twist lock for a 30 amp receptacle, 10 gauge wire. Uh, I'll show that in another video. This is gonna be on the outside of the trailer. And for any reason, if I wanna plug my generator in to run power in through here, I will be able to. Um, my generator is non-bonded as well, just so you know. And I will be hooked up to one electrode, which will be my own, not utility, not a house panel, nothing. All right, so that's my AC wiring video. Thanks for watching. Bye.